In your money this morning, it's a huge process, but now might be the time to take the plunge and buy a home. That's what Dean Harrington of Shamrock Financial is here to tell us about this morning. Now, Good welcome, Dean. Good morning, McKay. Good morning to you. I want to know what, why the market is just so uncertain right now. Why should we buy instead of continue to rent? You know, one of the, one of the funny things is to look at the opposite of a, an uncertain market is a certain market. Okay. And I only know one thing about certain markets, and certain markets are expensive markets. <laughs> when you have a certain price point, it's going to drive itself up, and you're going to have uh, prices out of control like we did from 02 to 06. All right. Now, oh, where are the prices at right now? Is it, is it still expensive Home, to No. Homes buy are still on sale. Okay. You know, one of the funny things is, if we go back from that 02 to 06 magical period, mm -hmm. we heard that the American dream was dead because homes were too expensive. Right. What's funny now, homes are on sale, prices are down, interest rates are down, and we're hearing the American dream is dead because homes are too inexpensive. <laughs> and it, it, it kind of cracks me up that there's never been a better time to buy a home than right now, and yet we have still so much... Uh, so much negative emotion in the marketplace, so we've got to try to combat, combat that a little bit. So this must mean that if you are going from renting to buying, it, it can't be too much more expensive on your monthly mortgage No, the, the price jump is not dramatic at all. I mean, in many cases, you can turn around and replace a rent with a comparable mortgage payment now and mm -hmm. get the tax deductibility. So it, it's an emotional thing right now. People are emotional about it. They hear it on the news so much. Foreclosures mm -hmm. are in the news so much. Yeah, it's tough. But it's still a great time to buy. All right. Now, what does this mean in terms of, you know, the, we were talking about the economy being so difficult at times. Are banks kind of being a little tougher giving out loans? Another misconception, and it's one that I, I try to pound all the time, that uh, guidelines are not tough. Okay. Enforcement of guidelines are tough. Mm -hmm. And th there's a critical distinction there. People ask, are they, are they easing up? Are they letting more money out? If you can pay your bills on time, if you have a good credit score, mm -hmm. You can buy a home pretty easily today, much more easily than you could in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s. Okay. But the enforcement of those guidelines, if you say you make X and you have X amount of debt, mm -hmm. it's going to be looked into. It's going to be looked into pretty That's seriously. True. But don't, don't buy into the notion that uh, guidelines are strict. It's not. The enforcement is. All right. Well, Dean, we want to thank you so much Thanks for coming in. All helpful information. Great to be here. All right. To find out more from Dean on the current housing market, we'll get you a link on our website, foxprovidence.com.